From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. American Door Company has been family owned and operated for over 29 years, supplying Northern California with quality garage doors, garage door openers, and installed with the best service you'd expect from a locally owned company. We serve all of Northern California from Willows all the way up to the Oregon State Line. Give us a call today. Well, I was talking to a friend over the weekend. You know, it seems like these heat waves are timing just in time for the weekend when people want to get out and enjoy their days off. And it's just been too hot for that. Uh, but it looks like not only are we cooling things off this week, but we're not going to really see any major heat waves heading our way. In fact, I think temperatures are going to stay below normal for the most part through this week and even into this upcoming weekend. I just don't see any big heat waves heading our way anytime soon. Now, we still have to talk about the fire potential as we take you into your Monday. All the brown here indicating that there is a moderate risk for that fire danger. And you know, a couple of things to take note is the fact that the winds have picked up a little bit and the humidity levels are beginning to drop. Now, as a result, the National Weather Service has issued since last week a red flag warning. Now, that's for today. There's also a fire weather watch also for today, and it's mainly for the gusty winds and not to mention those dry conditions. So we look at the red flag warning criteria, and this is something I've been talking about over the last few days. But it's important for you to understand what all of this means, right? So really what the National Weather Service looks at is different criteria. Now we're not really concerned about thunderstorms because that's not going to happen. It's mainly the low humidity of 15% or less and frequent gusty winds of 25 miles per hour or higher. Now you have to have both of these to occur for about three hours at least in a 24 hour period. And it looks like we're gonna be on the low end of that. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. First, let's take a look at the, the gusts and the dew point as we take you through this afternoon. Now look at, especially up to the north and east where the red flag morning is in Modoc County. You got gusts close to 30 miles per hour. Now the dew point, as you can see here, these oranges, fairly dry, but we certainly have seen drier conditions. We're gonna take a look at that relative humidity here in a second. Then we go into Tuesday morning the winds die down, that's pretty typical. A little gusty in some spots here, especially in the valley. Now the winds are picking up again Tuesday afternoon, but they may not be quite as strong as we're going to see today. But we'll have to keep an eye on these winds here because that could maybe extend that red flag warning, not to mention the fire weather watch, maybe another day. We'll have to kind of wait and see. But take a look at the relative humidity. Let's take you through this afternoon and we're getting down to the single digits here. And again, that's the reason why, even down into the south towards Susanville and even parts of the valley as well. So when you have that combination of the gusty winds we were talking about of at least 25 miles per hour and humidity levels of 15% 15 or less, we're in that criteria for the red flag warning and the fire weather watch. Now, we do get to see some, some humidity, uh, some what we call relief, and that is recovery. So you can see the humidity increases overnight. And if a fire should start, this is what the firefighters like to see, right? Is higher humidity levels because it makes it easier to fight those fires if one should start. Now, as we go into Tuesday afternoon, the humidity levels are dropping, but you'll notice not as low in most cases here is what we're going to see here for today. But again, we're, we're kind of in that borderline. So that may be extended with that red flag warning and fire weather watch. Now let's talk about the smoke. And here you can see, as we take you into this afternoon, looks like most of the haze is gone with the exception of extreme northern portions of California. So northern uh, Siskiyou, maybe northern Modoc County. But it looks like we're going to see more of that smoke kind of filter southward here through the day on Tuesday. Some of us may smell a little bit of smoke, but for the most part, it's just going to be in the form of some haze, especially in the valley and not to mention the north out into uh, Siskiyou County. Here's your hour by hour forecast for today. Those temperatures, it could touch 100 degrees, especially for Redding. Uh, but uh, there you can see basically in the upper 90s for those daytime highs. Here's what we have in store for us for your Monday for Siskiyou and Modoc counties. Temperatures mid to upper 80s, maybe around 90 though for El Turris. And for the eastern mountains, upper 80s to low 90s for those daytime highs. And here's that 10 day trend. So you can see I've got it up to 101 for Tuesday. That's right around normal. But you see how these temperatures are kind of just hovering around the upper 90s, give or take, really through the weekend. And then there'll probably be maybe another uptick in those temperatures next week. But that uptick is not major. We're not gonna be looking at a major heat wave, at least at this point. 
So here's essentially what's happening. We've got these storm systems riding to our north, one after another, and that's keeping that heat down to our south and east. And that's the reason why our temperatures are going to be staying below normal for the most part through this week and even into the weekend. As far as showers and thunderstorms are concerned, we don't have any. That monsoon moisture is gonna stay put down to our south and east. As long as that high pressure is over the desert southwest, we're not gonna see that monsoon moisture work its way up here. Now, one of the bad things that comes out of it are those low relative humidities I was just talking about. So we look at the temperatures for today. Again, yeah, some of us may touch 100, but at least we're not at 110 plus. And when we look at that seven day forecast, what we're gonna see here, are those temperatures really dropping down, especially in the mountains, upper 80s and low 90s, pretty much anywhere you go, Mount Shasta City, El Turris, and not to mention Susanville. And for the valley, I've got it around 100 degrees here for today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, but temperature is actually dropping a bit here, especially by the end of the week. So we're down into the mid to upper 90s. And look at Chico, by the way, as we go into Friday. You're down about 93 degrees, as a matter of fact, and then those temperatures should be in the mid 90s by the time we get into Saturday and Sunday.